You're watching PhotoWorks TV from Monument Valley. When it comes to travel photography, if there is a more awe-inspiring spot than the Monument Valley, well, I've yet to see it. The view is what the West means to so many people around the world. Now take a look and then close your eyes. And I think you could imagine John Wayne riding his stagecoach right in front of those buttes, or Marnie McFly landing his DeLorean right there from Back to the Future 3 as well. This is where so many classic Westerns were made so many years ago. And you know, those wide open spaces look exactly the same today. Photo walk wise, it's really all about those three majestic rock formations that everybody wants to see in photographs. So it should be pretty simple. Just drive into the tribal park, step onto the viewing platform for your shot, or walk or drive down into the 17 mile loop and get up close and personal with them. But no, it's not that simple. The prime time to explore is very early in the morning to watch the sun rise over the buttes, but tribal officials will not let you down there until several hours after sunrise. That is, unless you spring for the official tour. Now we did just that. And please stay tuned because we're going to take you on that ride with us in a minute. But first, let me tell you about the area. Now, Monument Valley is not technically in Arizona or Utah, but it's part of the Navajo Nation, which is a separate, sovereign, and self-governing Native American entity. Unlike many national parks in the West, Monument Valley does not get the millions and millions and millions of tourists, perhaps because it's so out of the way. It takes some work to get here especially considering that there's only one, only one hotel at the foot of the mitts, and that's the View Hotel. Rates are really expensive, as high as $400 nightly, but what a view. I filmed this episode in Monument Valley with mobile phones and iPhone and Galaxy, and I had no trouble getting great shots. Now, photo tips, you wanna do your photography early because that's when the mitts get their color. By midday, they're in the shade and you're not gonna get a sunset over them as the sun is setting on the other side. If you're a fan of time-lapse photography like I am, this is a fantastic place to do it because who doesn't like to see the shadows formed by the sun move along as the day continues? For more on how to do time-lapse photography, check out my time-lapse video right here on this channel. Beyond gazing at the mitts, you will definitely wanna jump into the car and take a drive down the road to Goulding's Resort which has a market, a restaurant, and a wonderful museum that showcases the history of the movies made in Monument Valley. From there, get back in the car again and get ready for your big photo op number two. And this is a big highlight. A 20 minute drive northeast to what's known as Forest Gump Hill. This is an official marker where the classic 1993 movie showcased by having the lead character finally stop his marathon run. And to this day, all these years later, people are still lining up to pose in the middle of the road and act really silly, and why not? Let's face it. This is one of the greatest road shots in the world. Ahem, look what's right behind me. I made a nice new print to hang up because I love it so much. Now, a quick word from our sponsor, Mylio Photos. Mylio has a new free app that really helps with photo organization and finding your photos. I mean, I'm on this trip, I shot thousands of pictures on multiple devices, and through one app, I was able to locate all of them pretty easily. Do me a favor, please download the new Mylio Photos free app at mylio.com slash photo walks. Now, let's go on to the photo tour and say hello to our guide, Will Cowboy, who we met at the nice early morning hour of 5 in. So I got the West Mitten, the East Mitten, and then Merrick, Merrick Butte. This, you know, a lot of people, um, this is actually the, the iconic West. So they usually are okay with just doing a, a sunrise in this area because you get all the lighting and that'll actually reflect off, reflect off against the walls here in the back and everything will just light up. And you're looking at a structure that's about equivalent to like a 45 to a 47 story building. 
So it's about 500 feet high. So it's actually a whole lot bigger than what we think it is from here. So it, this truck, we could actually park this truck up there if we wanted to. Both the back end of the tires would be dead even with the side. So that's how big it is up there. And the only Clint Eastwood movie that was ever filmed here was called the Iger Sanction. And in that movie, Clint Eastwood and George Kennedy supposedly climbed to the top of the totem pole in that movie. Um, right around this, this area, this location that we have, we got a big sand dune right over there. You see the ripples? Yeah. Some of the best places where you can take photos with all the ripples. And it's like the best time to come out here is like right after the winds. The strong winds will actually bring out more ripples. And that pretty much what the totem pole in the background. The big Hogan. There's a famous uh, uh, Native American flute player that goes by the name Carlos Naka. He actually recorded an album in here. The acoustic is very, very good. Hey, ha, way, oh, hey, oh, yeah, hey, ha, ha, way. So we're actually going to lay down on the rock and look up. The whole ceiling has the image of an eagle. Sometimes it takes people uh, a little bit of time to, to, to actually see it, but it's pretty much there. So here we go, huh? Yep. Comfortable? Oh, yeah. I guess fall asleep? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, not too bad. Okay. So, the hole is the eye. Yeah. The beak starts over here, and it comes all the way around. It's very big. If you got that point five, I got a point five. You're going to be able to see it. Okay, I'm standing on the X. Yes. Yeah, well, we were then. standing like this on the X. Right? Oh, yes. It'll line up the perfect shot with the tree and the arch. Will Cowboy. Oh, yeah. This was a fantastic tour. Yeah, thanks for showing us around your Monument Valley. Mm -hmm. Got to get up early, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but how else are you going to see the sunrise? <laughs> right? Yep, up and early. And uh, for us to find our tour company, just go online, Navajo Spirit uh, Tours. And uh, pretty much with the sunrise, you're going to see everything that you're not able to see on your own if you drive into Monument Valley. And then the bonus is you get all the stories. That's right. That and, makes and you have the big tires. Because most of us with rail cars don't have the big tires. And you can handle these routes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you, you get great reviews, but I'm going to give you one right here. Four stars. Fantastic. Worth every dollar. Lots of fun. All righty. And, and great stories. Love the song. The song was good. Selfie tips. All good. Um, everybody, if you haven't already, please like, please share, please subscribe. PhotoWatch TV. And stay tuned for another PhotoWalks adventure. See you on the next PhotoWalk. Bye, Will.